Hi, I'm Joe Zwerchowski. I'm an employee of Erie One Voses, and I am new to Niagara Wheatfield. I will be here every Tuesday and Wednesday throughout the entire school year. I'm a technology trainer. We're going to do a lot of different trainings throughout the course of the year. And that is my name, and that is my email address. And we're going to do a lot with the smart projector, the document camera, this magic pen, and this little remote uh, the first couple months of the school year. Just to give you an idea of what we can do, this is me when we eventually use the smart board as best we can. We're going to be doing fun things like this. Uh, it even does my sloppy handwriting. I can take things, highlight it, turn it to text, and it recognizes my email address. So that's even a little better for you. Um, stop the tape if you like, write it down. That's how you get in touch with me if you have any questions. The smart projector, new to many of your classrooms, the pen that goes along with it, the remote, and the document camera. And if you follow me right over here, this is the document camera. It's nothing short of amazing. And we're going to have a uh, lot of fun learning this. It's going to change the paradigm in your classroom. It's going to change the way you do business all for the better. Uh, I've been a technology trainer for 20 or so years and there's never been a technology quite like this. Um, you should, should be thrilled beforehand because um, it's wonderful. The kids will be engaged like never before. They'll love it, they'll want to use it, learn more about it, and as we go through the school year, we'll add more and more pieces to it. So uh, by mid-year, we'll really be flying with this. Taking a closer look at our smart projector, if you happen to misplace the remote, the first button is your on-off button, and your second smaller button to the right of that is your input button. That will change it from your computer to any other device you want hooked up to your smart projector. As I mentioned most times, we're just going to leave it where it is, VGA number one. Here is your remote, there's a storage case, Velcro for the remote and the smart pen, put it in at the end of the day and there's actually a cable that you plug in to the bottom of the smart pen that will charge the pen, it does need to be charged, there are no batteries, we have to replace no batteries. This will eventually be Velcroed right to your board, and uh, that's where it'll be for safekeeping. The remote, when you come on in the morning, stand in front of the projector. You can hear a little tiny click. It's very faint. You'll hear it fire up right about now. Your smart projector comes on. It's automatically configured to see your computer. The desktop on your computer will come up. That's where it's going to be 99% of the time. And up she comes. Notice right now, I have a program open. I can use the computer to control it. One of the students can be over here, they can type. Whatever's on the computer will come up. Here's the actual smart documentation that will be furnished to you. Here is the smart notebook software that we're going to spend a lot of time on during the year. On your remote, along with the on and off switch in the upper right hand corner, there is a volume control. Again, you must point it right at the projector and we can max out at 20. The speaker is good, it's not great. It'll make your point, external speakers on your computer are still the best option. A little bit hard to hear, it may make the point, get rid of that little Google ad. 
take it back to small screen, stop the video. If I want to take that volume down, the volume control is very simple. Click on it, take the volume down. There is a mute button. If you want it without sound, in the upper right hand corner you see that it's muted. If I click the button again, it brings the sound back. Also, on your remote, there is an input button across from the on-off button. If I press that, you see VGA2. At some point, if you have um, a VCR, an old-fashioned VCR, a DVD player, we could hook those up to the smart projector and display those images right off of there. If I go all the way back to VGA1, that's my computer hookup. So if ever you get lost somewhere along the way, it's not displaying your screen, grab your remote, hit un input, and it'll take you, give you the choice to take it back to VGA1. The pen does have an on and off switch. Turn it on in the morning. A little light will come up on the other side. If you don't use it for extended period of times, sometimes the pen goes to sleep. Okay, I can tell right away my pen is active. Okay, the light's on. You can see the little swatch of green telling me that pen is fully active. I can click, I can drag things around, I can change handwriting, okay? I can tape and draw shapes, I can cover things up, I can fill things in, okay? And away we go, we can do amazing things. This is using the Smart Notebook software. We're not even going to get into it that far initially. I have my other programs, if I have a Word document, I can use my pen, I can highlight something, I can change the font. Fully functional, any program we use, we have the pen at our disposal uh, to make this very interactive. Also, this is not just a touch pen, okay, it is a remote pen. I can travel anywhere in the classroom. And by pressing this white button with the, uh, with the mouse insignia on it, I can click and drag. And here's my remote. I can click on an object. I can move an object. I can highlight. I can change the font. I can change the text. It's nothing short of magic. This was even new to me. I had never seen a smart pen before. Uh, it works great on the board. And it works well from anywhere in your classroom. So if you're doing an activity, and you want a student in the back row to get fully involved, hand them the pen, have them click, drag, sort, organize, and uh, you're going to raise the bar in your classroom in terms of student engagement. To further demonstrate the power of the smart pen, uh, activity for kids, this would probably be a primary activity. If I press the white mouse button, I click and hold on an object, drag it to its rightful place, Instant engagement from anywhere in the classroom. This is your smart document camera up close. Here's your on off button. One click will turn it off. Another click will turn it on. Here are your different settings. Here's my computer screen. If I click the second button down, it will display what's in view of the camera. The arm is completely movable. I can move it, I can twist it, I can move it up and down. I can even move this and get myself in there and put myself on the screen. This little switch right here will turn the light on or off, depending on the lighting in your classroom, if you have the lights off, if you want to uh, see something on the screen real well but still want the doc document camera to illuminate what you have underneath it, you can turn the light on or off. And I think here we'll keep it on and make things a little bit brighter. The arm swivels, and to the right, 
we have a zoom in and a zoom out. The best thing about the zoom in and zoom out feature, it automatically adjusts whatever you're looking at, whether you zoom in or zoom out. Our last choice is the little disc choice. On the side, there is actually room for a memory card. A standard SD memory card, if you put that right in there, put an object below your document camera and click on the camera button, it will take a picture of that. It's like having a digital camera in your classroom at all times. Diagram, picture of a book, American flag, whatever you put under there, we can take a picture.